Well, your children's teachers are hard at work preparing for a school year unlike any other. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell takes us inside a Roanoke County school for a look at the big changes your children can expect. Your child's classroom will certainly look a lot different this year. Desks are spaced six feet apart, and that limits the number of kids who can be in the room. But the changes go far beyond just the classroom. <laughs> so much to think about. It is. Back to school during the pandemic means changes to practically everything. If they do take a classroom book, it, when they're done with it, they can't just put it back. I mean, they basically can't get out of their seats. So they'll put this on the outside of the door to signify someone's in the bathroom. Teachers at Fort Lewis Elementary School forced to get creative to meet new guidelines. I can fit 11 students in here. We would have had 23. And so now we'll have 12. Roanoke County will operate under a hybrid model. Preschool through second grade in person five days a week. Third through 12th grade in person two days, virtual three days. A plan the school board and health department still say they're comfortable with, citing a lower number of coronavirus cases in the county. Students will go through health screenings, wear face masks, and stay at the same desk all day, even for lunch, only leaving for PE, recess, or the bathroom. The library and cafeteria converted to classrooms. In the hallway, they'll stand on these paw prints spaced six feet apart. Teachers say they're adapting to the changes and they're confident students will too. It's going to be a challenge figuring out the flow of things and scheduling, but I think once we do it, it's, it's really going to be great. We're excited to have them back and I think with the precautions and everything we're taking, they'll be safe and we're just ready. So hopefully they are too. A lesson plan in a pandemic centered on safety. In Roanoke County, Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you.